Um, welcome everybody to the plenary session of the CALGB group meeting. Um, welcome to Boston. We hope you've had a, had a great meeting here and I'm sorry we couldn't provide a little bit better weather for you, but uh, it's, it's June in Boston. This is what we, what we do. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is to acknowledge the um, uh, sponsors who've really supported our meetings over the years. Um, we really count on uh, uh, support from um, individuals um, listed here in order to be able to conduct our scientific meetings and we're very grateful. Um, one really important part of this meeting um, is a recognition of the individuals who have given so much to the group um, through their work over many years. Um, and what I'd like to do now is to, I will uh, read the names of these individuals. I would ask any of them who are in the audience to please stand. And I'll ask you all to hold your applause until the end um, and then we can um, express to them our appreciation. So for more than 20 years of, of service to Cancer and Leukemia Group B in Oncology Nursing, we have the following, Pearl Abernathy, Marlene Johns, Rosalie Oktmar Rising, Lisa Zelenka, more than 15 years Oncology Nursing, Maribeth Hohenstein, Grace Rodriguez, Consuelo Soski, Beverly Smith, those with 10 or more years of service, Beth Edwards, Lyndon Evans, Sharon Grantham, Julie Haney, Lise Hernandez, Mary Holsing, Connie Honeycutt, Kathy Jenkins, Jody Lee, Deborah Lewis, Cheryl Lyons, Judy Marinelli, Patricia Main, Susan Ottman, Linda Sch Schmeider, Camille Severodito, Cindy Stanbridge, Linda Versea, Dolores Weber, Thomas Weber, Rebecca Witkowski, and Patricia Young. So please let's um, give them a great round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Um, similarly, we have outstanding service from the Clinical Research Associates as well, and those with more than 15 years, Pamela Bakalarski, Catherine Candler, M and Michelle De La Rosa, and more than 10 years of service, Donna Adams, Donna Angel, Linda Antman, Carolyn Brown Francis, Lendy Cox, Sarah Gonzalez, Clarine Halverson, Jaya Kamath, Randy Moeller, Beth Pfeiffer, Shirley Rodriguez, Dallastine Rush, Rocio Silva, Christine Spicer, Paula Walsh, Rebecca Welsh, and Roxanne Wood. Similarly, thank you. Now the accrual awards. Um, this one's a, a routine, routine top of the list member. Dana Farber Partner Cancers Care was the highest accruer from a main member network over the last year. 623 total accruals, 249 to treatment trials. Again, uh, I'm going to list all of these and then ask you to hold your applause till the end. The next accruer award, um, highest accruer from a main member site, Wash U. Also very commonly on this list, uh, 409 total accruals, 176 to treatment trials. CCOP Network, highest accrual yet again, Christiana Care Health Services, 359 total accruals, 103 to treatment trials. <laughs> the largest accruer for at-large member, New Hampshire Oncology Hematology, 99 total accruals, 24 to treatment trials. <laughs> and last but not least, the highest accruing affiliate site, Eastern Maine Medical Center, 91 total, 27 treatment accruals. So, congratulations. <laughs> so,
So now it is always wonderful to be able to announce the um, winners of, and the those um, who are selected to reach, uh, uh, receive the CLGB Foundation Investigator Award. As you know, um, during uh, Rich Shilsky's tenure as group chair, um, the foundation um, was able to secure research funding for junior faculty uh, through pharmaceutical sponsorship. And this is for those junior faculty members who really need to be able to have resources to reserve the time necessary to conduct uh, clinical or translational research, um, both some within the group and some also that has promised to eventually complement group research. The pharmaceutical sponsors for the uh, Research Investigator Award are listed here. You can see a total of 13 awards from these various sponsors have been um, obtained over the last five years. Um, the sponsors for today's awards are Amgen Oncology and Millennium, the Takeda Oncology Company. Um, these awards are for the Foundation Investigator category. It's a $30,000 award to the individual's institution for one year. And if physicians who are eligible to receive this award are those who have completed training in any oncology specialty and are within one to three years of a faculty appointment at the time of the award. And I would I will name the individual winners, and I ask them to come up and, and join me here on the podium um, when I do so. The first award winner is Jeffrey Venstrom from the University of California, San Francisco. Jeffrey, come on, come on up. Um, the title of his proposal is Autologous NK Cell Cure in HLA Genotypes May Predict Response to Antibody Therapy. The next Investigator Award winner is Mark Schroeder from Washington University School of Medicine. Um, the title of Mark's uh, proposal is In Vivo Engineering of Mo Mobilized Cellular Graft Content. Congratulations, Mark. The next award is for a Foundation Clinical Scholar Award. Um, this is something that was established through the CALGB Foundation by Novartis Oncology. It is an $80,000 award to the uh, individual's institution over two year period of time. And Novartis has uh, contributed a total of 15 grants now at um, over a, a, a million dollars in support to CA LGB junior investigators over the years. The eligibility is for physicians who've completed training in an oncology specialty in a little bit later time frame in their fa first faculty appointment. We have two awards um, provided by Novartis this year. The first is to Cynthia Ma from Washington University School of Medicine. Her study is, is uh, titled Novel Trial Designs for Endocrine Therapy Resistant Breast Cancer. Cynthia. And then finally, our last award winner also of the Foundation's Clinical Scholar Award, Jeffrey Wee from Washington University School of Medicine. His proposal was entitled Disrupting the Bone Marrow Microenvironment with GCSF in Relapsed or Refractory Acute Lymphoblastic Leukemia. Jeffrey. Um, we look forward to hearing from them at the CALGB, oops, the Alliance for Clinical Trials in Oncology uh, podium sometime in the near future. Congratulations. I also want to acknowledge it was there was an amazing number of applications of incredible quality that the committee uh, reviewed, and and you can just tell by the number of individuals we needed to gather in order to um, to review and select these proposals. Uh, you can tell what a what a really great response we had from our research community for this program. I mean, it's really grown over the years, um, and uh, these 
four individuals were part of a very tough competition to secure these awards. Um, Hetty Kindler, uh, we thank sincerely for her, um, her efforts in uh, coordinating and organizing the review committee for these awards.